morning friends and happy Sunday oh my god it's July 4th weekend we are in the Outer Banks which I am so excited I love coming to the Outer Banks in the summer it's just like a really relaxing beach there's no like traditional boardwalk that you see at a lot of bigger beaches which makes the town overall quieter there's also no high rises I've actually never watched the Outer Banks show but I heard it's really good so that's on my to-do list to watch sometime but hi welcome if you're new here my name is Sarah Jane. I'm a PR practitioner working in DC and I make a lot of content on life in my 30s in DC and reading. Oh, and grad school at Georgetown. So if any of that content interests you, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe because it really helps support my channel. So today is going to be a reading vlog and I haven't done one of these before, but I'm really excited. I'm just, I'm just going to take you guys with me with what I'm reading while I'm here at the beach for the next couple days. This is currently what I'm reading and it's my first beach read so far this year. So I finished Throne of Glass by Sarah J Moss last night while we were driving in. Oh my god, it was so good! <laughs> I loved it so much. I've been telling everyone on my Instagram that they need to go read it because it's just so good. Um, but I'm switching now to beach reads to obviously embrace the summer and this is what we're starting off with. Okay, so essentially this book is about a woman named Irene. She lives in Iowa, very like Midwestern lifestyle. And one day she finds out that her husband has been killed. Oh my God, I just realized I had this stain on my shirt from the water I drank earlier. Anyways, one day she finds out that she has a, um, that her husband has been in a accident, like a helicopter accident in the Virgin Islands, which apparently he was there for business, which is uh, maybe. She starts to find out that he's been living a double life and she goes with her sons to figure out what is going on. So this, most of this book, it starts out in Iowa, but then after that it transitions into the Virgin Islands. Okay, so I'm a hundred pages in and so far the mom and the two sons have made it to the Virgin Islands and they're finally like starting to like figure out what's going on. I really like it so far. It's a really easy read, which I appreciate because I just finished reading Throne of Glass, which I felt like I had to pause as the world building was happening. But with this book, it's not like that. I can just flip through it, which is so nice for the beach. No, I think, well. Okay, so I just got to the part where the one of the sons finds out i think it's baker is it cash or is it baker i think it's cash who finds out how long his dad has been having this stuff alive years we're literally talking years that's insane like i was just thinking to myself i don't think i could have a double life for that long i don't think i could even have a double life for a week let alone actual years ah! cider oh my goodness baby goyo Okay, so I'm at the part of confrontation. It's like freaking me out. Irene is making a confrontation and I have to say that this girl has balls. I don't know if I would have the balls to confront someone like she is doing at this point in the book. Like, ah, you, you know. You know if you read this book what part I'm talking about and it like makes me squeamish inside. Ah. Okay. So I love that Avery, the little island girl, is sort of having a thing with both brothers. I think it's really cute and kind of funny. I think, I'm not exactly sure yet, I think I'm on Team Cash. I feel like, well one, you know, Baker's going through a lot right now. But two, I think Cash and her are just better together in general in terms of like their personalities and their interests. So pretty sure we're on Team Cash for now. Okay, so I'm at the part where a certain someone is flying to the island and I am just really sort of wondering why. First of all, it's a perfect storm and Cash is being a huge bubble by not telling um, his brother, but like, I don't understand why. Like, why is she, my bag almost flew away. Why is she coming? I don't know. Unrelated to books, here is my dog enjoying the ocean. Sort of. <laughs> <Huh>. <laughs> okay, so we are back in our Airbnb. It is at bedtime. I have like 30 pages left of this book. So I think I'm going to push through and try to finish this tonight. Um, and then I'll probably just check in with you guys in the morning. Hi friends. I lied and went right to sleep. So it is the next morning. It is Monday. And I just went for a run so I'm super sweaty um, but while I'm cooling down before I take a shower I am going to finish up the last couple pages and close out this book.
so I just finished. I feel like I need to put you guys down so I can talk about this book. Oh, hi, Sire. <laughs> hi. I love you too. She said she just wanted to say hi to everybody. Okay, so I just finished the book. First of all, very good. Loved this book. It was a great, easy beach read. I, I'm very thankful to have been, had this be my first book. Second of all, oh my gosh, the ending. I okay. Here's my here's my thing with this book. You don't actually find out what's going on with Russell's death, and that kind of like bothers me because. That's sort of the whole premise of the sh of the book is that you know you don't really know what's going on and she she being Irene the wife goes to the Virgin Islands to figure out what is going on and she literally doesn't really find out anything not any well she does find out things but things that we sort of already kind of like assumed and it was just really confirmed um, until like the very end of the book and then it's like dun 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 season two I still really enjoyed it I think this book lays out kind of a lot of the groundwork. For the second book i'm not exactly sure i do have the second book with me so i think i might actually go ahead and start the second book i was actually going to read beach read by emily henry after this book because i didn't want to like just whip through the series but i think i actually might go ahead because i'm really curious as to like what was russell involved with how much how do they have like all this money whose heir is gonna pick between the brothers what's going on with maya like how was it all the same person anyways i just i just want to know so anyhow i really did like this book really good i'm gonna give it like four stars um it was good it was easy to read i was intrigued the entire time lots of unanswered questions and i want to know more so four stars this i'll go ahead and show you guys the second book this is what happens in paradise doesn't really tell you much from the back that you don't already know but it sounds like we're going back to the virgin islands which is fun and perfect for where i'm at right now anyways i'm gonna go ahead and take a shower get my day started get some breakfast i'm sure my husband is ready to like do stuff and not watch me run and read books cider oh my goodness hi okay so we are back at the beach I am starting the second book in the trilogy, What Happens in Paradise. I literally just started, so I don't have too many thoughts yet. Um, right now, everybody is sort of dispersed and doing their own thing, but I am pretty sure this is probably going to take place in the Virgin Islands again. It sounds like hopefully we're going to find out what Russ was into because I'm really, really curious. Obviously, it was into something illegal if you have like a $15 million villa in the middle of you know the Virgin Islands but anywho very excited you guys I'm influencing my husband is reading I'm so proud of him okay so I'm almost at a hundred pages into this book um, I a couple thoughts all of the diary twist that has been added into the plot because that really lets us think into like Rosie's mind and the things that she was thinking about whenever um, all of this was going down. So I love that thought process. I also feel like I'm getting a sunglass tan. Mm, good to know. Um, what else do I really like? And with the plot, it's really interesting to see how her and Russ kind of started because we didn't really get any of that in the first book and I'm dying to know like what happened what made those two fall in love and it's sad to say i feel like it's a tale as old as time the reason why it happened so anyhow i don't want to like spoil it but um yeah so far pretty good i like it friends I forgot my vlogging camera today but it is July 4th is our last day on the beach here and I am currently still reading what happens in paradise I'm about 200 pages in so about a third of the way through really really enjoying it so far I think I liked it a little bit better than the first book because there's more going on instead of characters just like being introduced and you know like relationships being formed so yeah I'm just gonna enjoy reading this on the last day of the beach okay so I have like 50 pages left in this book and I'm sort of like mildly annoyed with Ayers. I feel like she just has boy issues like she doesn't know how to 
get with the dude and like stick with the dude and like she has poor taste in men because she keeps going back to Mick's so I don't know I'm at the part where like she's broken up with Mick but now Mick has come back over and she's already had her little tryst with Baker and I don't know I just I really like her as a character but I am starting to not like her because of her boy issues okay I read a couple more pages the surprise proposal I'm not gonna say who got proposed to but if you read it you know and you've got to be kidding me okay so i just finished the book it is what time is it i don't even know what time it is i think it's like three o'clock um <coughs> bless you so the book was super good i kind of feel like i knew was gonna, what was going to happen at the end like i knew somehow they weren't going to be able to like keep the house and I was just waiting for it to happen and it finally happened and what else do I think about this book? I still greatly dislike the proposal. I'm sure most people have read this book by at this point, but yeah, yeah. I greatly dislike the proposal. Um, I still like want to know what Russ was involved in. Like that really hasn't been shared yet. Like of course he was like they they said a little bit more in the book but it's like stuff that we already know like he was into illegal stuff like we know this like what exactly was he doing um and so i'm hoping because i brought the third book with me here on the beach this is troubles in paradise and this is the final book in the trilogy i'm really really hoping that this is going to be a little bit more enlightening because i just feel like i want to know what is happening Hi everyone, we are on our way back from the beach, but I thought I'd bring you guys with me since I'm still going to be reading this third and final book, Troubles in Paradise by Ellen, Ellen Hildebrand. So I'm still at the beginning part and I'm at the part where um, the girl that Cash has had to move in with, just given everything that's been going on, um, the, her parents come home, they see Winnie and they're like, Winnie's got to go. Winnie is his dog. And I have never empathized more with a character in this series until just now because I totally understand the feeling of being told like your dog can't stay, but you can stay. And like, there's something about it as a dog owner that, you, you know, like they talks about how Cash is just so unreasonably angry and he knows it shouldn't be a big deal. And I totally get it. Like I have felt that way so much back when I was going through COVID and like I couldn't have my dog with me. And yeah, so I just wanted to have that little tidbit and share that with you guys. So it's a couple days later and I'm finally finished the third and final book in the Paradise Trilogy series. Let's talk about it. This next portion might contain some spoilers. So if you haven't read the trilogy and you're interested in reading it, I recommend, uh, I guess, Stop watching here. <laughs> First of all, I did not like the fact that Tilda and Cash ended up together. I thought this was super annoying because Tilda obviously like jumped ship from Cash and like left him high and dry. And then as soon as the times got hard, she runs back to him. And I'm su I'm also equally annoyed that Cash accepted her. I don't know like why, <laughs> why? Like she cheated on you, dude. Like, come on. Second, I did not like that Baker ended up with Avery. I thought that Avery and Cash would have been a better match. They just had more common interests than her and Baker. Honestly, the only thing they have in common is now a baby uh, and he is a previous father. Like that's about it. And I also don't like that Baker moved on before he was actually divorced. Like that's just a personal pet peeve of mine. Like if you are still married, and it isn't like even if you're going through a divorce like moving on and trying to start something permanently i just feel like doesn't actually work out in real life um i mean i think flings are a thing like i thought i genuinely thought reading the book that baker was just going to be a fling and i didn't realize that the the actual storyline was going to go that way so i didn't love that and i still am team cash which i was all the way from the beginning like i was re-watching my video clip and like i said at the beginning i'm team cash before this all even like panned out and during book one and the third and last thing i want to say about the book is that i actually loved huck and irene's relationship 
I thought it was the most realistic of all the relationships. It was complex, it was organic, and it felt really authentic. And I just thought that they were really relatable characters. They each had their own faults and they would get in arguments and like kind of go at each other, but they owned them and they found a way to like make it work. And I also thought Huck was hilarious. He reminded me of my grandfather. All of that's to say, I actually really loved the trilogy. I gave the whole series four stars, each book four star. I thought they were all great. I'm glad I finally got to find out what happened. It's definitely a character-driven series, not a plot-driven series, because you literally don't really find out anything until the third book. But you get really invested in these characters and kind of the life that they're forming for themselves in the Virgin Islands. So if you're looking for a good beach read to take with you. I do highly recommend the Paradise Trilogy. I thought it was amazing and a perfect easy read for the summer. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading vlog with me. This is my first time actually doing a reading vlog. I've never done one of these before. It's But it was really fun and it was super easy. So let me know in the comments below if you guys really did enjoy it. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. It really does help support me in my channel. And I will talk to you guys in another one. Bye.